Today I would like to show you people how to tie an extended body fly with the simplest of materials and ease of tying. We are going to tie this with a Bonnie craft cord and it comes in a number of colors and it takes a little bit to prepare it to use for tying the extended bodies. <clears throat> What you have to do is each rope becomes in a lot of fibers or cord like, like this one. And you see it's real crinkly and what you have to do is you have to straighten it out. So to straighten this out, you put a knot in one end, like so. And you take your forceps. Put it right by the knot and then just stretch it. Just stretch it till you get all the kinks out of it. And put the scissors on the, on the, the forceps on the other side and do the same thing. Like so. Now if you look at this, it's, the kinks are all gone and it's ready to go for tying a fly. <clears throat> I'm going to use a great big hook and real thick thread to show you how to do the tail and how you use one piece of this material <clears throat> and tie a fly, extended body fly like these. And you notice you can tie these flies in all the way from the hex size down to uh, real teeny mayflies. And they're basically all mayflies and uh, they're all basically attractor type patterns. Uh, very seldom will I ever see fish rising when I use these flies. But if they float by, fish react to them and come on up and take them. So that's the game plan here. Here's another little fly up close. It's the, the poly on top, one piece. And underneath we have a different color poly to make it sort of a light underneath. And I'll demonstrate all how that's done on tying this fly. <clears throat> 